Hello and welcome back to another video on our channel. Want to learn more about Blocks Fruit? How you can buy more Blocks Fruit and trade them for exclusive items? We'll show you how in this video, so make sure you watch till the end so you learn everything about Blocks Fruit. But before we start with the video, do make sure you hit that subscribe button. We post new videos. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell for latest notifications and updates and make sure you never miss another video. Sorted? Let's get on with the video now! Blocks fruits are found in some locations on the map such as in shops, the fruit sea, second sea, and under trees. They should be used carefully as it affects players but can also be used to play NPCs for services. Blocks fruits can be obtained by finding them randomly in the old world or in the new world mostly under trees but not always from buying them from the blocks fruit dealer using bali or robux or by doing the most damage in a factory raid fruits can also spawn under any kind of tree or plant in the game such as cacti at the dessert under the plants in the cruise ship and under mushrooms at green zone a devil fruit will spawn every hour after a server starts the time starts when the server is first started and they will despawn after 20 minutes if if not picked up. If a fruit is picked up and dropped, it will never despawn. Only two fruits can spawn in a private server. After that, the server needs to be restarted in order to spawn more fruits. You can trade your blocks fruits for some exclusive items, which we'll discuss below. Kabucha A kabucha is a long and narrow slingshot, and if you trade it with your blocks fruit, it's a valuable addition to your inventory. This is a weapon which has the fastest fire rate. A brief description of its abilities include Flying Firebird, in which the player gets to fire a flying firebird-shaped projectile that can later explode and cause extensive damage. Intensive Wind, in which a player can knock down enemies using a beam of wind. With two abilities, it's quite a powerful weapon you can acquire by trading your rare blocks fruit. An ORP NPCs or non-playable characters are the ones that can teach you a lot about trade and sell many items. An ORP is an NPC found in a cafe. An ORP will take your rare artifact and you'll be able to change your race to a random one. If you want to change your race without investing any money, then your best bet is to trade your rare artifact or you'll need 3,000 fragments just to get a fave revolt. Dragon Breath also called the Dragon Claw can be easily obtained by exchanging rare blocks fruits. This is something you would definitely want to get your hands on too. Dragon Breath is divided into three different categories. Z Dragon Rush. In this, a player dashes forward two times. In this, the enemy is caught in intense flames and can thus do high damage in a small radius. And if you hit the target, you can hit a few more times and do extra damage. Miss the first dash? The second dash can do 90% more damage or full damage. Dragon Flames Dragon Flames are where players throw a straight beam of flames at the enemy and cause minimum damage. A Dragon Explosion is where enemies hit the ground and an explosion occurs which covers a wide radius. This is a valuable addition to your inventory and can cause heavy damage to the enemy. Flower Shop You can obtain a flower shop by giving about 1500 fragments on the sideboard, after which you have to spawn it from a luxury boat dealer. This option is quite expensive for a flower shop which is why we have another method. You can obtain a flower shop by exchanging a rare blocks fruit. It is totally worth it as it has 2500 health and also 4 cannons located at the front. You can thus fire at many angles at any of the other ships. Salute Boat you do not need Robux to buy the Salute Boat, but you still need Bally. The boat costs 200 Bally as a pirate and half the prize at 150 as a marine. However, you can also get the Salute Boat for free if you exchange it with a rare Blocks Fruit. Why not get it for free? Don't you think so too? This is the fastest of all the luxury speedboats and you get it for free. Microchip the microchip is used to do an order rate which everyone knows how important it is. The microchip is found at the hot and cold area at the roof of Smoker Admiral's building. There is another NPC here that gives you a microchip for 1000 fragments. Instead, you could collect the artifacts thrown by the Darkbeard and exchange it with the NPC for free and obtain the microchip. 
Foster. And finally, this is also an NPC located on the bridge between the Rose Kingdom and the Green Zone. They charge for the services they provide around 2,500 fragments. The job they do is to reset your stats so it will allow you to relocate them. So if you think you need to reset your stats and relocate your rare items, it's pretty simple. Hope you liked this interesting video. Please do like and watch our other videos. We'll see you in the next video. Good day!